Hello. Happy Halloween and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Father's Day, the latest from Emika Games, creator of Find Yourself, Locked Up and Summer of 58. Those were all a treat to play through and I'm sure this is going to be no different. So if you want to try it for yourselves, you'll find the links in the details down below in the description, alright? But if not, if you want to watch this playthrough, I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, alright? But let's begin a new game of Father's Day. A very dark new game by the looks of it. And here we are, in control. No intro or anything. Just a red door and a house ahead of me, I think. Aside from that, not much. Pitch black as far as the eye can't see. Oh, I am hearing something though. And seeing something, right. <laughs> How did I miss this? I must have spawned right on top of it. I okay. That was weird. Uh, okay, it did it again. I keep trying to go back to retrieve the lantern, but it keeps on... It it keeps on spinning me around. I haven't missed my opportunity to pick up a light source in this game, have I? Oh shit, okay. Let's assume that's meant to happen. Let's assume I'm gonna find one up ahead, at the red door. I'm hearing all sorts of things around me. Maybe I need to get inside, barricade myself in. What is that? Is that moving? I think the lantern might be following me, actually. Does it want to be picked up? <laughs> no. Wishful thinking, apparently. It is moving, though. It must be. I'm getting closer to the door. Right. I, I'm still heading for the door, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna back up here. I want to keep my eye on this thing. It's moving, and that's what I can hear. It's following me. I'm being stalked by a lantern. That's new. There it goes again. Right, so what is this place? Father's Day, apparently. And who's that? What makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? Why can't they let him go? Hmm. Parental home, first date. Family picnic. Going to the city fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you're happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again. But you can't. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world? I don't know. I have no idea. Are you going to tell me? Is that what the game's about? Phil, you have to... You have to what? Phil, what do you have to do? Tell me, Phil. <laughs> well, it seems like Phil needs to start Act 1. The past cannot be changed. Free the future. And we've got the plain text version in the bottom left for some reason. Just in case you can't see it in the center. Alright. I have to admit, I don't know a great deal about the story to this one. Although I do know that we are going to be playing as three different protagonists. One with a dirty sink, by the looks of it. A very dirty sink. Oh, and it gets better. What's that? Blood? Oh boy. Alright. Candle on the floor as well. Do we not have another light? <laughs> Alright. Well, let's get out of here. What we got? PT, by the looks of it. Uh, Alright. Let's go left. Let's go this way. I think the game is meant to last a few hours, but I don't know. Maybe we can shorten it. Can we leave? Here's the exit! No? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Neighbours, flats. I, uh, I can't knock, I can't let myself in. Oh, I can buzz! Oh, okay, right, yep, okay. We don't want to deal with 1112, do we? Uh, what about 1114? Alright. Dare I? Nothing? Leave me alone? Leave me alone? Alright. All right, all right, all right. Leave me alone. Okay, okay. I'm looking at the notice board. Leave me alone. There's all sorts over here, by the looks of it. Leave me Flyers, leaflets. Bloody hell! She doesn't stop, does she? 
What's this? Missing child? The police are looking for the boy. He didn't come home from a walk. His name's JJ. He's ten years old. Right. I think one of the three protagonists has lost a family member, so... Yeah, I, I guess that's maybe my kid? There's loads of the missing child posters here. Yeah, poor guy. I wonder what happened to JJ. Alright, so let's see. Do I have a light source now? No? Can I pick up the lamp? No? Alright, let's see. Got a door here? A closet? Where a boy isn't being imprisoned. That's good. Is that it? Loads and loads of books. Anything else? Hang on. Uh, there's a newspaper. An article about the boy, actually, who disappeared six days ago. He was found by local residents. It was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city, near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on holiday with his father. Wonderful. There's a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. Is it you? <laughs> I've got to ask, right? I've got to ask. I don't know if you're the father of JJ, I've got to be honest. What's this? Ah, hang on. Hey, there you go. I knew we were going to find another light source. We didn't need that lantern after all. And apparently we don't need to open the drawers either. Alright. Uh, did I close this? I... Okay. The horror begins, it seems. <laughs> was that there before? I don't think it was. Looks like it's leading down to a basement. There's no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. Okay. What project? The hell is this? I've spent several years developing a time machine. I'm almost close to completion. A time machine. Wow, okay. What we got here? Time management, team building? Toilet situation, yeah. We need a meeting on the toilet situation. Need to pick up the order. What order? What are you talking about? Alright. What's this? My dear son, we'll be together soon. Ethan. Ethan, not JJ? Alright. Something here too. For my son. Okay. I think that's it. What's all this about an order? Hmm. Alright. Doesn't look like I can go that way. Maybe back here? Oh. Oh, I hear something. Oh! Hang on. A phone? Or the doorbell, maybe. Right, hang on. For some reason, I can't run. <laughs> yeah, there's someone at the door. Or at least, there was. Looks like they dropped the box off, though. This will be my order. Alright. Okay, we're just gonna leave that door wide open. We were born in a barn, apparently. Uh, I, I guess this has something to do with the time machine, so let's take it down to the basement, shall we? Right, so... <laughs> there's gonna be time travel in this game? Okay. Uh, Alright. So, what was in the box? What's that? Okay, uh, presumably this has to go somewhere. But where? Um... I have no idea. Oh, right there, apparently. Okay. So... I is it done? Is there anything else? I don't see anything else. Uh, can we... Oh, yeah, hang on. Okay. Wow. Uh, should we give it a go? Right. I, I'm coming back for Ethan, I suppose. Or am I? Did anything happen? I, whoa, okay. Something did then. Fucking broke. Wait, what happened to the filing cabinets? Oh, okay. Right. What's going on here? Um, should we try it again? Wait, what have we got here? 
That was not there before. We got a pentagram. Is that Baphomet I see? Right, hang on. L let's try this again. Right. Oh! Did I just... Did I just kill him? Okay. Not a great start. <laughs> okay, I guess that was meant to happen because now we're on to Act 2. They thought it was safer inside. And now we're playing as Henry, it looks like. Okay. Uh, a dispatcher says, Henry, look around this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need any leads. Well, if you know there's a missing child in the park nearby, he's not missing. <laughs> so I guess I'm a police officer? Accepted, I say. And in control, I seem to be. Right, yes. That was a bit of a giveaway. Um, okay. Does Henry not have a flashlight? <laughs> right on cue. Fuck! I forgot my flashlight! Alright, so... Where is it? Inside? Uh, maybe not. I don't think I can open the door. I can barely see the door. <sighs> For fuck's sake, Henry. Maybe he left it back at the station, right? <sighs> Alright, well... Maybe he won't need a flashlight. I mean, it's only half three in the morning, right? Let's forget about the flashlight and let's focus on pumpkins for two dollars. What a cracking deal. Right. Oh, Henry can sprint, apparently. Oh, hang on. Henry can also find a spare flashlight. All right. Looks like he's going to borrow theirs. All right, so let's see. This is the police. Open the door. No response. All I hear is creaking. Okay. There's a rocking chair going back and forth, but I don't see anyone sitting on it. Maybe it's a ghost. Alright. Hmm. Gonna try it again? No. Okay. <laughs> Are we giving up? Oh. Oh, look at this! Wow, that is a massive ferris wheel! So, there's the park, right across the road. And who's that guy? He's massive! Or a statue. Probably a statue. Let's hope so, anyway. Let's have a little look around, shall we? There's a caravan here, a trailer. Maybe someone's living inside? Let's try it. Or not. Never mind. Okay. No side entrance? No? Alright, looks like there's a way that way. Oh, hang on. There is a back door. Maybe we can try this. Alright. Let's see. Yep. Open the door, I say. Whoa. What was that? Uh, this is an ordinary abandoned house. No one's lived here for a long time. Okay. Uh, okay, take a look around, the dispatcher says. Will do. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anyone inside. Hmm. I heard something from over here, though. And I am seeing something over there. Let's take a better look, shall we? Where does this go? Oh, to an outhouse! Ah, oh, a boarded up outhouse. This is a horror game. Can we get these off? No, never mind. What's this? Alright. Oh, we've got a little dock here. Wait. Okay, that's the book that I saw a moment ago. What's this? The last thing I can do is ask for your help. Help me get them back! What, with a pentagram, Baphomet, and a voodoo doll? Is that a cup of blood? It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me, but not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix everything. Okay. What am I hearing out there? Right, okay. Weird. Let's head back, shall we? Hey, oh. What the hell was that? The door's open. Whoa. Was there someone in the outhouse? Can I seriously not pry these off? Don't think... Oh, God. Oh, hang on. Is that a mannequin? Standing there? I mean, I hope so. It doesn't have a head. Right. Okay. The door's open, though. Maybe there is someone inside. Alright. Police coming in. 
Oh. Someone's sitting upstairs. I need to find a ladder to climb to the attic. Oh yeah. <laughs> what big arms you have. That's... That's probably a mannequin. I don't think there's anyone up there. It's just a trick of the light. Okay, so a, a ladder? I need a ladder. How did they get up there? Uh, don't think I'm going to find one here. Can we open this door? No, can't create a shortcut. Maybe turn the music off? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's continue looking around. There's got to be a ladder around here somewhere. Okay. What? What's that? Wait, more mannequins? Oh, hang on. Uh, excuse me, ladies. They're blocking the way. I can't go back. I can't leave. Okay. I need to find myself a ladder then, don't I? There's nothing here. Got a wheelbarrow. Maybe around the side? The trailer? Still can't use that. Hmm. There's wood. There's a trolley. There wasn't anything back there, was there? This way? Ah, oh, hang on. Here we go. Here we are. It looks like I can burn the ropes. <laughs> so you don't want to cut them? You want to burn them? I need to find matches and gasoline. Mate, you can't be trusted to bring a flashlight with you. You've got no hope. Okay. How many mannequins are just littered around this place? This is weird. So I need to find matches and gasoline. Okay. Uh, matches might be inside? Gasoline might be inside? What we got here? Okay, yeah, we, we can't open the, uh, the cupboards and stuff, it seems. Wait, what's this? Circus performance. This Sunday. Happy Father's Day! I'm waiting for you. Is that... Is that a spattering of blood? Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright. Uh... Well... The fire start... Oh, hang on. The fire started, and this is why! There you go. Alright. Uh, I do need some gasoline, though. Nothing here, no, okay, well maybe the gasoline's gonna be outside somewhere? <laughs> so again, let's just circle the perimeter. Let's have a look. What's inside this barrel? No, okay. Well these, oh hang on, no, there's a jerry can back there. Right by the pumpkins. Is that it? There you go. Alright, and this is all to burn the ropes so I can get to the ladder. Well, let's hope this is worth it. Alright, so, round here. Uh, can I not go that way? No, I don't think I can go that way. Never mind. I'm quite enjoying it so far. I like the way it looks. Yeah, good visuals, good sounds. Silly puzzles. <laughs> but there you go. Oh shit. Where did that mannequin go? Oh boy. I do all you fucking bitch. <sighs> good scares, too. Yeah, pretty good scares. Okay. So, uh, let's go say hi to whoever's up here, right? Okay. Hmm. No illuminated shadow. I oh, God. That's a creepy looking doll. Fucking creepy place. Yeah. Can I not go any higher? Okay, I can have a look at this article. Oh shit! The culprit in the accident on Highway 58 testified, I definitely saw that the girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and a child could not get out of the car. Where the hell did that doll go? The house is clean. The house isn't fucking clean. There's no evidence. Wait, hang on. What? <laughs> it was the doll. Okay, the dispatch is saying, Henry, get back to base. It's been a long shift. It's time for me to rest. Okay. 
Whoa, okay, that one wasn't a mannequin. Okay. There's another one over there. No, that that isn't a mannequin, is it? No, that's not a mannequin. Right, fuck that. Oh boy. Oh, oh really? This is blocked off now as well. Okay, well, let's go this way. Maybe it was you inside the outhouse. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, it's one of those sort of fear slides that you just did. Did we go this way before? I don't know. Right, let's see. Has anything changed? No. Right, so where did this guy slide off to? Okay, that's not him. That's a mannequin. Oh? What's this? Ooh, alright. I think I found something. I think you did. Did I just get knocked out? I Police Sergeant Henry Anderson. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park, but during the operation, he stops contacting. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think he was knocked unconscious. Someone hit him on the back of the head. And now we're in Act 3. Your nightmare is reality. Tell me about it. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Playing as Phil. Right. Still haven't cleaned your sink, Phil. All that. You've got more candles, though. Right. Alright. Okay, yeah, things have, things have changed a little bit. Alright, the flashlight's back here, though. There you go. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Why all the candles? You just trying to set the mood? It's a pretty creepy mood, Phil. Okay. The hell's that? Wait. This is reversed. Hang on. Get out of my house! I am. I'm in the hallway. Emma hasn't sorted her mail yet. Need to replace the envelopes. Is that a severed hand down there? And there's that book, the voodoo doll. What the fuck? Locked. Need a key. Okay. Your brother, Jonathan. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm just going through the mail. Uh, Emma, I I'm so sorry. I want to help you find JJ, but I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbor, Phil. Right. So, it, it's my neighbor's kid that went missing? Oh, wow. All right. All right, can I buzz? This is fucking weird. Okay, so there's a, there's a box down here. I need a key for it, I think. Okay. Maybe the key's gonna be in here somewhere? Let's have a little look around, shall we? Wait, si since when did the door disappear? I don't have a toilet anymore? Hey. Oh boy, alright. <laughs> Just the trick of the light, right? Just the trick of the light. Okay. It's much more than a closet now. What a weird place I live. Alright. We- Oh! Alright, that's enough of that. We got anything down here? I think I've seen these drawings in other games. Wait, what the- What are they? Like, rat babies or something? The hell? Right, okay. Around here. Okay. The book, the voodoo doll, the knife, it's all coming back. What's this? There's something missing. I, I need to find the missing part. Okay. What's this? Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a safe hidden back here. I need to light the candles to open the door. Okay. Oh yeah, they're connected to the candles. Okay. So we're looking for a key, a lighter, uh, I think maybe a little bear or something. What's that I can hear? 
Oh, a TV? Hang on. What's this? I can barely see it. It says, open two times. Oh, now it's a closet again. What the hell? So, this would be the second time? <laughs> okay. This game's already full of surprises. Right, okay. Hang on. There you go. Got myself a lighter. It's time to light the candles. Okay. Well, let's do that. I'm gonna have to open this again, aren't I? Oh, God. Alright. Dare I? <laughs> what is this, Blair Witch now? What? What the hell? Can I seriously not leave? This is crazy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's light the candles. Let's light the candles and maybe then we can get our bathroom back. So, close the door and open it again. Just like that. Okay. So, the candles. Just follow the wires, I suppose. All right. Got two there. Oh, and two on- oh, I see two on this side. There you go. The safe's open. Ah, the key. Right, okay. Hopefully that's gonna open the little chest. And maybe in the chest I'm gonna find the, the bear that seems to be missing. Alright. Hello. Who are you? You're not Ethan or JJ, are you? Oh god, who's that? Creepy imagery. Oh, okay. No, I want to go that way. I definitely want to go that way. Yeah, I'm just seeing things. I'm just seeing a lot of things. There's a doll there now. No severed hand. Maybe I was imagining it. I don't know. Right, okay. Uh, open this. Yep. Yep, just as I thought. That's what was missing from the picture. It's a little bear. Okay. <laughs> it's like I delivered my own package. Alright. Well, there's the part, along with the book. I guess I'm gonna want that. A How was that? A hoof? A cloven hoof? A oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah. Someone rang. Oh, man. You decorated it here as well. <sighs> I don't know if I like it. Nah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <sighs> I want my bathroom back. Is that too much to ask? Wow, I've got a fucking Ouija board now. Right, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Oh, I don't like where that's going either. Okay. <laughs> this is reminding me a great deal of Locked Up right now. Yeah. This is fun. I like it. Alright, so that goes in, and then what happens? What was that? Oh! Uh, a little planchette thing for the Ouija board, the spirit board, right? Uh-huh. The scares, they're, they're coming thick and fast now, aren't they? Right? Is this Layers of Fear 3? Okay, I can't go through. Creepy fucking dolls, by the way. Right. Maybe we go back this way? We do indeed. Okay, right. The basement again? Or a basement? Hell? Oh boy. Alright. Uh, oh, I need a password. I need a password to get to hell. How about I don't find that one? Are you gonna get out of the way or...? I guess not, right. So, we need a password to get into hell. For some reason, we want to go. Um... Back this way? I got the planchette, so I think I need to get to the Ouija board. Okay, the painting's out the way. The dolls have gone. I don't know where they've gone, but somewhere. 
All right. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, man. All right. So let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay. Uh, one. This is it, isn't it? One, four. I'm just going to note this down. One, four, zero, eight. Ooh. 1408. Really? Okay. Bit of a horror reference there. Alright, so let's open this up. And then one more time, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> voices in my head. Tell me about it. Much, much more than voices in my head, though. 1408. Great combination. That's going to get me to hell, is it? Oh, okay. The mannequin's gone. Alright, can I go this way? No. Looks like we're going to hell. Okay. One, four, zero, eight. Enter. Is this hell? It might be, actually. Am I playing Agony again? Holy shit. Right. <laughs> Are we going to attempt time travel again? Okay, well, that's back in position. I guess, right? Wait, what's this? Uh, another locked chest. What's that? I'm eating those baby mice? The fuck? Hello. Right. Okay, hold on. The switch is over here this time. Oh, oh no, th there's no lever. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Uh, is the lever going to be in the box? I need to find a key for it, though. Where's the key going to be? Uh, doesn't look like I can go much further. Maybe I just need to go back on myself. Yeah, let's go back up here. Let's see if anything's changed. Hmm. Alright. Something's going on. Okay. Let's see. The mannequin's gone again. Is there something back here? The mannequin maybe blocked me from something. Okay, there is actually something here. I remember that day in the park. You wanted to go to the rides, but we agreed to do it after the picnic. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Maybe round here? No. Oh, God. Who are you? Right. Now you're blocking me here? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh! Right. So let's go back this way and let's try the chest again. <laughs> I keep expecting there to be something here. Some sort of jump scare. Instead, just spooky noises. Alright, so back to hell we go. Let's try this again. Is that the lever? I, I think it is, isn't it? Yes, okay. So, I know where that goes. Alright. Is it working? Seems like it. Okay. Here we go again. Uh, you know what? I can actually see a door. Maybe it's working properly this time. I oh! Okay. Creator, I want to hear the truth. Creator? Uh, are we talking God here? Okay. Um, a wee bit confused. <laughs> Act 4, the golden egg. Okay. The golden egg. Uh, okay, the golden egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person, and we also analyze what he's afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world, so he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect to the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, We've created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world, and will think that this is his life. While he's distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of this case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record evidence for us. Together with the district police, we are launching the system. What? I, okay, this sounds a little bit, you know, inception-y. We're going inside someone's mind as they're distracted to, to, to find the truth. Right, so... Was that real? Or like, was that part of the golden egg simulation, what I just went through? Uh, okay. Uh, who's this? 
uh, okay, the operator says, communications with Henry have been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch. Right. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who's already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of his world. Okay. Oh, this is weird. This is very weird. I guess Henry's in that area in the top right? We're calling Jonathan. Jonathan, okay. Is he going to be the third protagonist? Is it Phil, Henry, Jonathan? Maybe. Alright, looks like we're going to the one in the top right. In Act 5, be careful. Evil knows where to look for you. Alright. Yes! Okay, we're playing as Jonathan. So the operator's telling me, Jonathan, show me how it was, but don't go beyond the boundaries of the world. It's dangerous. Okay. So Jonathan is active inside this simulation, right? I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like it was yesterday. Okay. Here we are then. Here we are. Did I get here via boat? <laughs> oh, that's that's the dock, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Oh, I need my video camera. Right. Okay. Oh, lovely. Okay, we got a zoom. Okay, that's going to work as our flashlight, it seems. Right, so yeah, this is this is where I saw the book. Right, so that that wasn't real? I, hmm, okay, alright. <laughs> it's quite a lot to take in, but we just have to get used to it, I suppose. Alright. Really does sound like there's someone in there. Hang on. Oh, maybe now I can try and get them out. I need a crowbar. Right, okay. Uh, was there a crowbar around here before? Okay. There's, uh, there's an arrow. The bin's missing. Man, it's dark. Is that a crowbar? I think it is. Oh, perfect! There you go! Oh boy. Right. Okay. Yeah, the park is still illuminated over there. I keep hearing rustling. I don't like this area. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm really relying on this, aren't I? Okay, well, forget about that. We are going to get this person out of the outhouse, aren't we? If I find the prompt, anyway. There we go. Alright, let's see. Okay, there's no one in there. Oh, but there might be something down there. Let's see. Uh, I need to look for gloves. There's something there. Right, okay. Gloves. Okay, well... Uh, <laughs> even in this strange simulation, we've got to think sanitarily. Uh, the door's closed now. Can I reopen it? Uh, it seems to be locked from the inside. Okay. Uh, well, maybe now I can go around the front. Fucking hell. The sounds are so good in these games. I think for me the standout was probably Summer of 58. I think that still stands as my favourite. And yeah, sound had a lot to do with that. Pumpkins are still two dollars! Okay. We can have a look inside. Where's that doll? Wait. Oh, okay, oh, right, right, all right. <laughs> Crowbar's coming in very useful. I'm glad that I didn't get rid of it. Alright, so we're sneaking inside? We're sneaking inside. Wait. What? Is anyone here? Just me, barricading myself in, I think. The fuck are those dolls? Oh, I don't know, maybe I wasn't in control of that. Right. Uh, well, let's have a look. I can hear something. It's a toy train. He was here. He was hidden. Right. There's a safe as well. I need to find out how to open the safe. Okay. Right. Uh, can we open this? 
No, it's it's tied with rope. Again, I need to I need to burn the rope. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let's see. Hang on. Here we are. Oh, okay. I've got lighter fluid. Not a lighter though. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Huh. All right. Something here too. Your brother Jonathan. This is the letter I sent to Emma. That son of a bitch stole it. I knew he was guilty. I'm going to take it. Uh, are we going to read it? Or we'll rip it up? Oh no, no, we are reading it. Emma, your neighbour doesn't bother you anymore? I know you're kind to him and your son likes him, but he seems strange to me. His name's Phil, and he lives alone? I've got something on him. He had a family. They got into a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment in your house. I don't think you should talk to him. Your brother, Jonathan. Your brother. Just in case you forgot. Yeah. Okay. More of these baby mice? Gruesome. Ugh. Just have a slice of pizza. Oh, mm, okay. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so lighter fluids. Um, can I... Can I douse this? No, I, I need a I need a lighter as well. Is there something down here? Oh, there is something down here. What is that? I don't know. Huh. Hmm. What's that? Oh! Oh, gloves? Right. Well, now I can uh, sink my hands into the shit outside. If I could get outside, why did I barricade myself in? <laughs> the fuck? Here needs... Here I need an access key. Right. What's that connected to? Oh, I think... You know what? That might be connected to the safe. Right, yeah. That's the... That's the lighter! Right, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Right? I'm sure I could have just pulled that off if I wanted to. Oh, lovely. Oh boy. Is it... <laughs> Alright, a little bit alarming, but uh, right, I've got the I've got the gloves, haven't I? So let's go back here and let's see what we find. Something, I assume. <laughs> Okay, that was a juicy sound effect. I, I took out the- oh, it's the access card! Right! That might help me open the safe. Right. Whoa! 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 No thank you! Right! Woo! Okay, so the access card goes there? Open? Yep, yep, it was connected to the safe. There you go. Alright. I didn't find this diary in reality. I need to dive into it and find out what happened to him as a child. Why is he hiding these memories? This really is like Inception, I think. I came home. What was that? I came home after school. My mum was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Alright. So, Jonathan, nearly 3 a.m. in the morning again. Right. Wait, we're back here? With the lantern. Ah, right, we're jumping around a bit, but I, I think I'm following along. I see someone up there in the window. And who are you? You are creepy. Can I finally pick this up? No? What a gorgeous smile you have. Right, okay, we're going in. Finally, we're going through the red door. Oh wait, look, look, hang on. There's a flashlight. There's always a spare, it seems. Oh, she's gone. That's a bit worrying, actually. Where has she gone? Creepy. Okay. Phil, Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you her... And then that was it. Boy. Okay. Right, I've, I've been in this place before. This isn't usually like this. Okay. 
I guess we need a, a few keys to unlock that. We've got the bathroom here. Is someone in the bath? I mean, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but... Ooh. All right. Okay. It, hang on. Hang on. We're draining the water. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a, another lever. Okay. That could be useful. Good stuff. What have we got here? Cards? Playing cards? Tarot cards, maybe? Something like that. All right. Anything else around here? That looks out of place because it is. It's a it's a jigsaw puzzle piece. Okay. Anything in the toilet? Unfortunately, we can't have a look. Right. So, whoa. Okay. That would lead to the basement, right? Is it coming from that door or the front door? Okay, I uh, I can't open this one either. Or that one. Okay. Where did that doll go, by the way? Alright. Did I just see something in the fireplace? I don't know. Uh, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay. Just looking for anything out of place. Uh... More cards here. Oh, hang on. Uh, no matter how hard you try, they can't admit that you're an unusual child. I want them to understand that. Why are you hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked in the basement? We need freedom, and I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. Alright. And what did that plan involve? Is there something down here? No. Hang on. A newspaper? Uh, tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital, a man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple, enter into trusts, and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. Right. Feels like maybe I saw him in the window and her outside. Anything else? Okay. No, all right. Let's head into the the dining area and the kitchen then, shall we? What we got here? Okay. Oh, there's something in the box. Ah. Well, that looks like a like a set of lockpicks. All right. Oh, maybe we don't need to find the keys after all. All right. I'll try that in a sec. Can we? Oh, we can't go back out the front, but we can go out the back. Right. Let's see. I'm wondering where I uh, I put this jigsaw puzzle piece. To be honest, in here. Okay. All right. Let's explore this area. Hey. Oh. Can't go very far. Um, hang on. What's this? Oh. Ah. We're moving this out the way. Ooh. What is that I can see back there? That smile. Creepy. Didn't I see you out the front? Right, hang on. Oh, now he needs to find a crowbar. Right, okay. Oh, there's like a, a fire poker down there, but that's not gonna work, is it? Alright, let's see, come on. No, spaghetti and meatballs aren't gonna cut it right now. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, maybe we should go outside. I don't know. I'm going to try the lockpick set on these locks here. It doesn't appear to be working. No. Right. Okay. I guess we're not going to the basement quite yet. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing something out here, so let's go out here, shall we? Alright. We have a gate. It's locked up. But not for long. Hey, there we go. Alright, well, let's, let's go this way. Oh, bloody hell. More mannequins. Wonderful. Can't escape them. Just can't escape them. 
Whoa. All right. <laughs> well, there's that headless one again. We've got a barn here? Okay. Oh, hang on. Uh, can I maybe... Ah, unfortunately, no. Oh, wow. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, there's that doll. Right. Do we need gasoline again? No? Hmm. This is weird as all hell. <laughs> oh. I wasn't expecting that from you, I have to admit. Maybe you, but not you. Pictures? Hmm. Alright. What's this? What is that? A safe dial? Oh, there's something here, too. I did my best to get my parents admitted into a psychiatric clinic. They were diagnosed with schizophrenia, a dangerous form because they almost harmed their child. They almost harmed their child? Okay. Okay. Don't really know what that item was or what I need to do with it. Are we done here? I think... Uh, I think we're done here, right. Let's climb down, and let's head back to the house, maybe. Oh, he's gone. That's probably a good thing. Okay. Right. Well, actually, there was another way to go, right? Maybe I don't have to go back in straight away. It's down here. More mannequins, of course. But beyond that? Another gate? Alright, this set of lockpicks is really helping me out. <laughs> okay, so what's this leading to? Where does this path go? Alright, yeah, I, 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 I hear you rustling. I'm ignoring it. Got a wheelchair. Is that a disabled radio? Oh, poor thing. Wow. That's a weird gang sign. Just for a second, as I was spinning around, I was like, is, is that a real person? No, it's a statue. That's the doll again, though. What's this? After my parents were taken away, I ended up in an orphanage. There I found friends, and it seems I became happy. The monster that lived in me calmed down and stopped appearing. I wanted to find a family that would accept me for who I really was. A normal. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If you refer to yourself as a normal, you're not a normal. On a serious note though, I'm happy that the monster calmed down and stopped appearing. I don't think it's going to last though. Are those noises coming from the radio? Okay. Strange. Very strange. Okay, th there must be somewhere else I can use the lockpicks or that thing that I found in the barn. There's nothing down here? No? Okay. I'm still looking around for this jigsaw that's missing a piece. Okay. So we can't use that. We can't use that. Oh! We can go upstairs? Is that what we're doing? I thought it was blocked off. But oh no, 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 no. We just... Right. Okay. We're upstairs. Let's see. What we got here? Okay. Ah! A camera? <laughs> We're using all the methods in this game, aren't we? Wait, is that the barn? Are they bolt cutters? Interesting. Another one of these tarot cards, I think. Uh, I think I'm hearing something from through here. Okay. Hang on. Phil? Whoa! Uh, uh, this kid is not Phil. Then who is it? I, I don't know. Should I take a photo? Okay, it, it needs a shake. Uh, maybe it doesn't actually. I don't think there's anything there, is there? Maybe something on the floor? Uh, I think it's just a toy or something. Is that an eyeball? I have no idea. Right, okay, let's go this way. Okay. Ah, there she is. She's standing outside. Right. Whoa! <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Right, let's try that again. Okay. Yeah, you haven't disappeared, but thankfully, you did. <laughs> Hello again. Hello. Right, what were you looking at? Okay. Alright, there's another photo here. It's the grave, right. A crowbar. Okay, I'm thinking... Uh, right, exactly. I'll try to repeat these photos. Now that I've got the camera, that's why the photos were littering the area. It was a clue. Okay. Can't open this. Uh, I need a... Oh, I need a bolt cutter, do I? Well, I might find one in the barn. I don't know. Alright. Oh, hang on. Okay, there's another jigsaw piece. Still no jigsaw, but... <laughs> Alright. Hang on, what's this? Phil, my son. Me and Dad wanted to help you so much. We moved into a new house in the hope that everything would change. But evil possessed you, and we didn't know how to deal with it. Terrible things began to happen. Killing birds and animals. It wasn't your fault. You were held hostage by a monster. I wanted to get rid of him. Right, okay. It, it, it very much seems like Phil is a psycho, you know? Maybe Phil isn't a protagonist, he's an antagonist. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, I can't go that way. You haven't got anything for me? Just a candle? Okay, right. Um, so, crowbar, bolt cutters... Okay, alright, well maybe we should go and fetch those. Yeah. Alright, so... De Ooh. Hello. She's inside now. Uh-huh. She's actually there on the photo, too. She's she's really there. No, no she's not. Not anymore. I do hear someone laughing, though. Right. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do. So... This way, to the left? Let's go to the barn first, shall we? So, once again, back up the ladder over here. Wherever it is. Yep, here we go. And what, I just take a picture in that general area? Trying to... Match the photo? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that got my heart racing, that one. So it was a photo from, like, here, wasn't it? Ooh. Who is that? Oh, there she is, smiling away again. Okay. Hey, there you go, it worked. So, bolt cutters. They're real. I've got them. Alright, let me get the fuck out of here. Are we actually done with this area? Do I have to come back later? There's... Whoa. <laughs> There's definitely no jigsaw here. Uh, not that I can see. Right. Wow, okay. So, again, we need to go to the graveyard, don't we? Yeah, I see you in there. Right, yeah, back to the graveyard because uh, I think there might be a crowbar there. If I use the camera. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> yeah, that sounds a, a very, very good. If nothing else, this guy knows jump scares very, very well. They're always really good in these games. And the atmosphere, the sounds, yeah. It's always a fun ride playing through these games. More rustling. Again, I'm going to choose to ignore it. And that. Okay, so... Oh, oh, okay, someone... Someone just ran away there. Okay, hang on. I, I think I do need to shake this one and then take it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. Got the crowbar as well. Fantastic. Okay, whoever that was has gone. Maybe it was the doll. I don't know. Not that one, obviously. But yeah, there's one that does keep on roaming around. And these mannequins. They're just everywhere. How many horror games do you think I've played with mannequins in them? I'm estimating about 500. And honestly, that might be... That might be lowballing it, really. Okay. No, it's not okay, but I'm gonna have to go that way, so. It's 
gonna have to be okay. Right, uh, so let's see. Let's try the crowbar first, shall we? Okay. Alright. What's that at the end there? Okay. Can I pull this down? No. That's a mirror. A mirror blocking a doorway. <laughs> okay. What's this? Oh, I forgot I picked that up! Right, yeah, okay. Ah, that's how we get the hatch down. Right. Up to the attic, then. Ah, there she is. And there you are, yet again. Right. Okay. And there's the book. We've got the knife. Wow. It's like a bat wing. Another one of these. What is this? It looks like a safe dial to me, but I haven't seen any safes. We keep seeing this, don't we? Okay. What we got? Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, maybe this is. Ah. Oh, we've got we've got one and three. We don't have two. Uh, it looks like the lock in the basement's opened. How does that work? Has it? Hang on. Uh, I uh, don't know if we can go around. Can I, uh, put this back up? Okay, yep, alright. Well, let's let's go check the basement. I think we are missing one. Uh, I've got the bolt cutters, so, yeah, maybe I should go back up to the bedroom. Ah, yes, so we're not looking for keys. We're looking for creepy sound effects, and we've got a lot of them. Yeah, okay. One more. One more. Alright. We're going back upstairs. Can we get this open properly? I can't really see in there. Uh, I think that boy's gone though, right. Is she still outside? Yep, yeah, she's still outside. Hmm. And he's still in here with me. Okay. Now, why couldn't we just use the bolt cutters on the chains downstairs? Eh? <laughs> okay. What's this? Stephen and Nancy. Right. I've seen them so many times now. Um, we returned to our house, but others lived there. I needed to get rid of them and get my life back. They had a child. He looks so much like my Phil. With him, we can start all over again. Little Peter, we are your new mum and dad. Creepy. She wanted to start over, but something went wrong. Because well, the way they wanted to start over was all sorts of fucked up by the sounds of it. Whoa! Okay, right, yes, okay. Let's go back up to the attic. Let's see if we can get the, the door to the basement unlocked. Let's get through this. <laughs> yeah, some of these are uh, affecting me more than I'd like. Here we are then, back again. So let's put in number two. All right, sweet. Oh, she's gone. I knew one of them would have disappeared at least. Where's she gone? She's probably waiting for me down in the basement, honestly. Which should be unlocked now. So, right, let's retract that. And let's go see, shall we? How am I going to get jump scared this time? Oh! Like that! Okay, there you go, that answers that question. Oh, I can see her outside now. Can't open the door. Right, okay, that's probably a good thing. But there you go, no locks, no chains. It's just me. And the door. Right, to the basement we go. Am I gonna find a boy down here? No, you fucking shh! Don't shh me, stupid fucking mannequin. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm not seeing a boy. I am seeing a mannequin holding something though. What is that? It's a tape. What the? <laughs> 
I might not be seeing the boy. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm hearing him. So is that meant to be what, Peter? Little Peter? I think when I've seen this house in other games, there has been a way through this wall. Maybe there's going to be a way. Right. Okay. Uh. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Right. Uh, it looks like there's two more pieces to find. That looks like... That looks like the area from Find Yourself. Yeah, okay. Right, we're looking for two more puzzle pieces. And we're also looking for... a TV. Is there one around here? Doesn't look like it. I don't think there was one up in the bedroom or anything like that. Am I certain there's not a TV down here? <laughs> Just before I go exploring? Oh, hang on. It's right here as well. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Hang on. Ah, alright. Oh, there you are. I knew you were going to be here at some point. Right. Okay, well now that we've got the power on... Here we are. Yeah, use the tape. Okay, uh, how do I turn this thing on? There we go. A child who craves parental love becomes rejected because he is not like that. I needed to help Phil to find freedom. I calmed down when Phil was safe. After that accident, Phil asked me to help him get his family back. We tried many times, but it didn't work out. And Phil only got worse. I was left alone. I decided that if we couldn't get his real family back, then I could find a new one. While I was thinking about it, I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. When I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. I tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life would change there. But he refused. Then, I went there myself, wearing my best outfit. I wanted to amuse the children. I met my father with a child. It was that boy from our house. He treated him badly. He wasn't his real father. I made sure he was left alone and went over to him. Man, this is so insidious. His name was Peter. And I think it's Peter that I can hear to my left. There's got to be a way to open up that wall. To, to get into that hidden compartment. No signal? No signal. I guess that's the end of the tape. Okay. Alright, now I can move. Your subconscious is more adequate than you. Then you must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. Emma lost JJ because of you. Turns out it's already open, and here are all the mannequins! Uh, and this is where he was? Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's, it's the book again, the diary again. I came home after school. My mum was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Right. Okay. And we're back in the room. Playing as Jonathan. Right, okay. So... Right. I've, I've had a good little read. Let me take my camera back. Uh, that, yeah, Phil's diary. We're just gonna leave that there? Okay. Uh, I read that before, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, uh, do we just get out of here? I mean, I, I guess we could. Did that just cut off? Right. Uh, I, I came here via boat, right? Since when did you girls get here? Strange. Alright. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Ah, I don't like that. 
no, no, we're not getting out of here quite yet. Are we trying to find the source of the crying? It's one of these mannequins, I think. Oh, hang on, what's this? There's a tray out here. Here I can get it with a hook. Okay. Well, there's a, hang on, there's a fishing rod here. Can we use this? No? Hmm. Right, so hang on, let's see. Over here? Right, this is where, uh... This is where I was knocked out earlier. Okay. Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking for a hook, I think. Um, okay. There's nothing else down in the toilet, is there? <laughs> no, probably not a hook long enough to, uh, to pull that over. Why is this all blocked off now? Wait, there's a work... Oh, hang on. There's a workbench with a, with a hook. Wonderful. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. no one's running. It's just the sound effect. I've heard it before in many games. Why is it still riling me up? Come on. Pull yourself together, Chris. All right. There you go. What is that? A, a circular saw? Okay. The disc angle grinder is damaged. It's enough to use it once. And I guess we're not going that way. Oh, do we use it on the lock around here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay. Hopefully this time we actually get it open. We actually see what's down there. The disc is broken. Well, you said it was only going to last once, right? We jump pretty high up here. Get a little bit scared. Act you. six. I gotta come Together all the way back forever, down there now. everyone. <laughs> Oh man, we're playing as Phil! Okay! Right. So, yeah. I, uh, I don't trust you as much anymore, Phil. Gotta be honest. And here? Oh, I see, we're underneath the Ferris wheel. Right, so we're just across the road, really. <laughs> Circus performance this Sunday. Spattered with blood. Is that the house over there? I think so. Alright. I can't seem to run as Phil. Oh, right. Whoa, that was funny. <laughs> okay. Who's this? Peter? Whoa, hey kids. Hi, what's your name? Aren't you here with your parents? Yeah, his name's Peter. He's on holiday with his dad. Your dad lost you. He asked me to help find a boy with dark hair whose name's Peter. Come on, I'll take you to him. No, you won't. <laughs> Good, Peter says. The poor naive sod. A few hours later, okay. I dread to think, to be honest. Whoa, hey kids. Oh, okay, we're back here, right. And where's Peter? Up here? Hi kids, it's me! <laughs> right, I, I, I need to feed my new friend! Okay. It looks like he's done with the, the can of beans that you got him. Alright. Actually, well there is an egg frying, I suppose. Okay. A fried egg, just a single fried egg. No? <laughs> Pizza, okay. Uh, maybe you wouldn't touch that pizza, honestly, but okay. Oh, look at that. There you go. A fried egg and pizza. A combination made in heaven. Or oh, hell. Yeah, this is very Hi, sinister, isn't it? <laughs> so he was just right across the road from where he was taken. <laughs> I'm hungry too, apparently. Okay. <laughs> what am I going to eat? Baby mice? You gonna have yourself a fried egg? No? A bit of pizza? Alright, that's that's the nose from the costume, isn't it? That's what I saw earlier. Okay. Oh, oh. Delicious. I'm going to sleep now. Okay. Well, up, up there with him. Where do you sleep here? On the couch? On the sofa? Ah, okay, right. Alright. 
a few days later. How did things develop? News time. <laughs> the police are looking for a boy, 10 years old, named JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. Right, JJ, not Peter. Like, how does JJ fit into all this? Was Phil responsible for that, too? Hmm, okay. Act 7, darkness comes out. Is that Phil at the sink again? Yes, it is. Bastard. Yep, that's kind of my opinion right now. Every time I play as this guy, I have a, you know, a, a worse and worse opinion of him. Okay. <laughs> Clown. Quite right. Quite right. Father's Day. Wonderful. Okay. Yep, alright. We, uh, we need to play that, I assume. Um... Guilty. Yes, I am. Ah, right. Okay, in roughly the same area, we find the flashlight again. Wait, oh, it doesn't work. Okay, well, let's navigate through the darkness then. Down here? Shh. Yeah, alright, we've already been through this. Nobody fucking shushes me. Alright, we're not going that way this time. We're going in here. Alright, cool, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be watching this tape alone. Oh. Bloody hell. Okay. What's this? For my son. Are we... I think we're opening it this time. Okay, so what does it say? Ethan, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your mum asked me not to drive. I didn't listen to her. You know how I want to get it all back. I would do anything for that. Because of my job, I didn't pay attention to you at all, and I was a bad father and husband. I wanted to fix it, but I only made it worse. I took you away from each other. I'm so sorry. I have to try and fix it. Nice. Yeah, well, time travel is not the answer, as it turns out. Uh, okay. Yep, in it goes. Alright. Ready? Here we go. Oh, okay. I, I I want to sit in a chair. Do you? I guess she's fine to stand. Poor kid, trapped in a cage. At least he's got a cool cowboy hat, though. Right. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Stop laughing, Phil. Alright, swiftly moving on to Act 8. Don't leave alive. You just watch me. Right, playing as Jonathan again, and the battery on the video camera is dead. But don't worry, I've got another light source. <laughs> There's always a spare. Oh, hang on. There's a spare key as well. Alright. Ah, okay, so we're down here. Um, so what's the key for? This door? Let's see. I, oh, alright. Hey there. I'm gonna open the door, is that alright? <laughs> weird. Yeah, this, this golden egg thing is very, very weird. Boy. Okay. Can I? No, I can't. Maybe that's for the best, actually. Okay. Uh, am I going to need bolt cutters again? Well, that doesn't look right. There's a passage behind the wall. Yes, there is. It's barely been filled in. Can I just, like, lean against it? It looks like I should be able to, honestly. Alright. Okay. Something... Ooh. What was that? Hang on. Oh, oh, I can open this ventilation grate with a screwdriver! Right, okay. <laughs> Am I playing stay out of the house again? Is this something? No, it's nothing. Okay. Right, so I'm looking for a screwdriver. Hey, okay. How was that? 
Locos? Alright. It's very colourful. <laughs> Especially for a place like this. Screwdriver. Screwdriver! And a way to get through the wall as well. Can I just hit it with this 2x4? Is there something up? Oh, hang on. There might be something up there. Uh, maybe not. Um, got a paintbrush? Hmm. No more tools around here? No, I, I think finding the flashlight and the key was enough, really, wasn't it? It's gonna have to be somewhere else. Fuses? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen a fuse puzzle yet. Alright. Have you got a screwdriver in there? Hmm. I noticed that there's a ventilation grate in front of him. Uh, like, do I do I want to go and meet this guy? I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, okay. Please don't tell me I have to interact with these. Come on. This could be the rare exception where I don't have to mess with fuses. <sighs> right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hang on. There is a toolbox. Now. Oh, hang on. Hang wait, wait, wait. There it is. I was stumped, but not for too long. I Whoa! He's fucking quick. I guess he's got a screwdriver too. Well, maybe I don't want to open this ventilation grate with a screwdriver anymore. Is he going to come crawling out? One way to find out. Okay, we're, we're going in ourselves. Maybe this is our way around to the other side. Oh, okay. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, right. Steam prevents me from picking up a sledgehammer. There's a sledgehammer? There's a sledgehammer. There is. There's a sledgehammer. Right, okay. Uh, that's a problem. Okay. Um, doesn't prevent me from picking up the valve wheel, though. Hang on. Another box. Again, it's locked. I need a key. <sighs> if only I had that lock-picking set. Anything else? Right, so where does the valve go? I mean, the valve's got to be to sort the steam out, right? I don't know if it's here. Can I? Okay, I'm going back. It might be on this end. Okay. Right, let's look for the pipework. There's... Oh, there? Right, okay. Right, that should be turned off now, yeah? It certainly seems like it. Okay, well there you go, there's the sledgehammer. And this door? I can't open. Never mind, never mind. Um... I'm sure if I use the sledgehammer correctly, I could get that open, but right, okay. That's going to be for the wall, presumably. Yeah? I'm going to break down the wall with the sledgehammer. So, over here. Yeah. There you go. Sounds like it's gone tumbling down. Hey, oh, Christ, okay. Pick that back up, would you? Why did you drop it? Oh, fucking hell. Right. Okay, well... Hopefully I've still got the screwdriver so I can stab him. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm expecting a jump scare. But I'm not getting one. All right. What is that that I'm hearing? It sounds like something squirming or like eating. I, I, I don't like it. I, okay, hang on. Uh, here, right here, I'll need a ladder to climb. Did I see a ladder back there? I think I, I think I did. Hang on. Keys? Lots of keys, actually. I can now open the box, which is in the pantry. That was the pantry? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Right. And the ladder. I think I think I did see a ladder back here, actually. Still no jump scare? No? 
No. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised and a little bit shocked, honestly. Uh, right, hang on, hang on. Here it is. Like you said, ladder. It's more of a step ladder, really. <laughs> Sounding like Phoenix Wright here. Uh, yeah. So the pantry as well. That's going to be back through here, and I've got that key ring with loads of keys. So let's see. Yeah, one of them seems to fit. All right. Uh, what are these? There's two of them? Huh, okay. Uh, what about this door? Oh, really? All those keys and it doesn't unlock that door? Shame. Um, okay. Alright, well, uh, let's get out of here, right? I think, I think we've got the ladder and we've got those... whatever the hell they were. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the direction I want to go. You've got the right idea. Alright. Why am I running? Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, good stuff. Right, so, put the ladder down. Yeah? Ah. I, I can't seem to use anything here. I'm just wondering if the, the metal pieces actually get attached to this. I can use the ladder, though. Oh. Ah! <laughs> right, I had the right idea. Okay. So, what's up here? Okay. What's this? Oh, we're underneath the ferris wheel in the park. Ah, okay. This way? I need to take a flashlight with us. Us? Us. Okay. Right. I, oh, right. So, Phil, or a manifestation of Phil? <laughs> oh shit! Okay, right, right. Um, yeah, let's just back away, shall we? I, I, I got to try and hide, I suppose, from Phil. I want to say maybe I dealt with Phil in another one of the uh, Emika Games games. Who's that over there? Yeah, in an area a lot like this. Oh, okay. Want an orange? Wait, do I want an orange? I need a coin. Okay, I guess I'm getting thirsty. Right, he's over there. He's over there. I suppose this is how Phil abducted Peter, right? They went down that sort of like secret tunnel and got over to the house over there, right? I don't like the way he's wandering around. He's going over there, so I'm gonna go this way. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the carousel over here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Ice cream. Yes, I want ice cream. And to see a mannequin over there. Can I not get ice cream? Where is he? There he is. There he is. Okay. What have we got here? Okay. I can't make a call, no. <laughs> no calling for help here. Yeah. Was it in Find Yourself I was here? I, I can't remember. Feels like I've, I've definitely been here before, though. Alright. Okay, hang on, there's a, there's a chest here. It's locked. I can open it with a sharp... Okay, I can open it with a sharp object. We're looking for a sharp object. Alright. Just got to see if I can find it without getting bopped on the head by that giant hammer. And he's coming right for me. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Actually, if I'm remembering this correctly, I I don't know if he can follow me in certain areas. Maybe I might be safe on these planks. He might have to go around the long way. Oh, uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think he's seen me. I think we're going to test that theory. 
There you go. He's not climbing over the planks like me. There you go. We've got a little shortcut just for ourselves. Okay. Here he comes. Right. Um, so, I've got to find this sharp object. Shit. Okay. Oh, he stopped. Has he lost me? Maybe he's lost me. Alright, maybe now's my chance. Okay. Oh shit, right? Okay. <laughs> lost me for a sec. Oh, nuts. Okay. I think he's maybe a little bit faster than me, which is a bit of a problem. Right. Uh, I've got to go somewhere else, haven't I? I've got to, I've got to lose this guy. Right, okay, come on, run, run, run. Oh shit, shit. Okay, there's another plank there. Come on, come on, right. Can you follow me? No, you're gonna have to go the long way, right. Is there something sharp round here? Ah, oh, fucking hell, right, okay. Uh, sitting on the seat, no. Fuck this. Right, something here, something around here. Ice cream, no. Tickets, no, uh, hang on. Okay. Coins? Oh, he, has he lost me? I think he's lost me, at least for the time being. Right, that's going to help me go get a soda, I guess. Alright. What else we got around here? Let's have a little look. Horror circus? Yeah, it pretty much is. There's an... Okay. Over here? Alright. Oh, he's way over there, right. Let's see, what we got here? Uh, there are not enough details. Well, well, don't put yourself down. This is a pretty detailed game. We're, uh, we're missing the left one. Maybe a lever? Is that what you mean? Oh god, he's coming. Oh shit, alright. Uh, let's see. I'm still looking for something sharp. Maybe I'm gonna get something sharp out of the vending machine? Maybe I'm gonna get a sharp can of soda, yeah? Or maybe it's gonna be here? Oh man, there could be there could be loads of items littered around here. I just don't know where to look. I'm gonna look around the Ferris wheel because it looks like I've actually got a bit of an opportunity to do that. Right. Maybe I can set the fireworks off. Something over here? No. Circus? Can I board the ferris wheel? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Right. Okay, let's go, let's go get that can, shall we? Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that. Okay, we've got, we've got a spanner or a wrench or something like that. Okay. Is that how I fix the machine? Oh. Is that how I fix the machine? I think he's on his way. Right. Still looking for something sharp. Crap. Right. Go. Go. There's got to be something. There's got to be something on the benches here. No. Is that a no Okay. There's, there, there seems to be a knife embedded in her head. All right. Okay. Come on. Round you come. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, we're going this way. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Right, hang on. Okay, I've got a knife! I've got a knife, but he's got a hammer, and to be honest, I think he will probably win. Run. Run and run. Okay, okay. Uh, we've, got to, we've got to sneak back in here, maybe. I don't know. Can you follow us around? Oh shit, right. Let's hope we didn't see this. Where did we come from? Here, here, here. Oh, okay, we can't go back. I've got a knife though, I've got that something sharp. Around here? Wasn't it? Yes, here we are. Okay, the knife is gonna do it. What is that? Oh, it's, it's one of the wheels. Right, that's, that's definitely a detail. It's time to go play on the slot machine. Right. Okay. Uh, it might be time to lure him over here so I can get around him again. 
taking a shortcut. He's none the wiser. All right. Up and over. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so obviously I need to insert that here. Oh, and that's the... <laughs> I've used that as the lever, I see. Is this really what we should be doing? Okay. How many coins have we got? Do we need to find more? Oh, I, okay, we just... We just want a, a key? This makes no sense. <laughs> now I can open the locked door in the basement. Oh, fucking hell. It's time to go back. It's time to go back. Is it safe to go back? Uh, it might be. It might be. And again, it might not be. Okay, go, go, go. It's a shame I can't vault gates and fences and stuff in this game. If, if I could just get over this barrier, if I could vault that, I'd be back in a heartbeat. Got to go the long way around, though, unfortunately. Right. Well, there you go. I think that might be the, the first section in this game where I'm under an actual threat. It's not all, you know, you know, walking simulator jump scares like that. Ooh. Woo! Okay. Right. I'm picking up the flashlight again. I always have to pick up the flashlight when I change sections. I think I just drop it every time I go through a door. Man. Man. Okay. Okay, so the door... Wait, what? Let's go! Oh. oh god. Whoa! No, 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 shit, shit, shit! What we got? Oh, fuck! Oh, okay. Get these out of the way, come on, go, go! What the hell was that? Was I under threat again? It felt like it. It really, really felt like it. Seems like the way's clear now. <laughs> okay. Oh, alright. I, I, I guess we're not going that way. It must be the key for the padlock? Yeah? Yeah, it fits. Alright. Wow. Okay. Uh, whoever was living here could be a very heavy drinker. Right. Again, we're crawling through the vents. So where does this one go? Alright. Okay. Ah, on the other side of the mannequins. Right, yes. Okay. What about this one? Alright, yeah, works with that as well. Is that a crowbar down there as well? Okay, yep, the crowbar, yep. Take that with you, that could come in handy. Alright. I'm hearing crying and whimpering. And I don't think it's coming from the coat hanger. Hmm. Okay. This might be a doorway or something. Can I pull this out? Maybe I could use the crowbar. Locos. Right. Snacks for the boy, presumably. He's back there, isn't he? Alright. How about this? Okay, hang on. Oh. Yeah, I can see the light coming from back there. Ah, ah! That, right. That's what I needed. The crowbar did come in handy. And there he is in the cage. Hey, man. Calm down. I'll help you out. Right. Another padlock. This one, I can't seem to to unlock. Okay. So we've got more snacks. A little bin. Toys. Slides. The hell? Can I pull this away? No? Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's uh, keys. More keys. Maybe one of these can open this up? Hey, there you go. Right. 
I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find JJ. Phil hid the information about where he hid them. Maybe I should try again? I'm sure I can find them. Hmm, okay. The creator says, right now it's not necessary. We're at an impasse again. Phil is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that... Otherwise, let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Okay. So I failed? They didn't get enough information? So they're redoing it? Oh, Alright, we're moving on to Act 9. Some places never let go. That's Phil in front of the sink again, isn't it? But is this Phil in reality? Or, or Phil in his sort of like waking nightmare inside the golden egg program thing? What a strange convoluted story this is. Right, okay. Again, you know, it's like half three in the morning all the time, but what's this? That boy. His name was Peter. It was special. I would never hurt him. He was lonely, like me. The man he called his father was a monster. I wanted to save him from this world. Right. The creator's asking, are you starting to remember what you did? I think I am. And I don't need the nightmares anymore. What I do need is that flashlight. It's always around here, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, right. <sighs> Back to time travel, is it? <laughs> No? But, okay, I can't open either of the doors, but my order has arrived! Let's see. Oh. Yeah, what I'm doing is not real. There is no time machine. But where is the reality in which everyone's happy? I'm confused. I can't take it anymore. Right. Okay. Well, this isn't real. So, uh, what's this? I brought friends for him, and brought a lot of toys and food. I wanted to be a real father to him. He shouldn't have felt bad, and he was happy! I did everything for this! The other kids were misbehaving, and I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they call me a maniac! Kids love the clowns! Do they? Really? These days I don't think they do. So what happened to the other kids? You had to calm them down? How? Did you kill them? You've been silent for 20 years, and you still think you're innocent? Show me where the children's bodies are hidden. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> uh, hello again. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm back to the nightmare. I'm back to the nightmare, right. So I, I'm still sort of in denial, I suppose. We've reached an impasse again. We're starting another reboot of the system. Okay. Another reboot of the system. How many times have you been through this? I had to fix it, Phil says. I I'll tell you everything. Really? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. Is that where they were buried then? That's right by the house. Yeah. I walked over that area quite a few times. He moved the bodies many times, trying to hide them. Eventually, they were found on the territory of the house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. Right. Well, one out of three is better than none out of three, right? During the investigation, the pilot project, Goldenegg, was involved. Thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. Whoopee. <laughs> I'm thrilled. Okay. In The Golden Egg, we discovered that Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disorder. His mind divided into two different people. Right. The depressed Phil, who withdrew into himself, thinking that he could prevent the death of his family, and the dominant personality of the clown, who had not manifested himself since childhood. Right.
Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children were hidden. Well, you know, uh, for all his bad deeds, at least he did that, right? I suppose he came around in the end. He couldn't fix his mistake, but he had to help those families. All right. Okay. So, was that that? Was that Father's Day? That was Father's Day. All right. And we're going out with this. I like it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. That was another fun ride from Emika Games. I don't know if it was my favorite. Uh, it's got a an overly convoluted story, in my opinion, that was quite hard to follow at times, but overall, pretty good. Uh, really nice visuals, really good audio, and some really nice jump scares, atmosphere, just sort of like horror moments. Yeah. Feels like I could have done more, though. Maybe that wasn't the only ending. Maybe... Like... I, I don't think I actually found all the jigsaw pieces, did I? Maybe that would have helped to find, you know, where the other two were? I, I, I mean, we found out in the end, I suppose, so... I don't know. But yeah, it feels like there was maybe something else I could have done. But that was Father's Day, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, happy Halloween, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. Jonathan didn't find Sergeant Henry. What are we going to do? Do not disconnect it from the system. I'll find something to tell the police. Right, yeah, we never heard from Henry again, did we? Last we saw, he was knocked out. Oh. There's more! We're playing as Henry again! I'm in this place again! What? What's this place? I've never been here before, have I? No. Okay. Uh, is there a... <laughs> of course there's a flashlight! Right next to a, a cup of blood, a pentagram, that book, all the old favourites. Right. What the hell is this? I'm still kind of stuck in the simulation, aren't I? Right. There's a wheelchair. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello there, Phil. Right, right. Where do I go? This way? I, mm, okay. I don't know where I go, to be honest. One of these ways. This way, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, we are making progress. That isn't a mannequin, is it? Hey! Yeah, what a lovely smile you have. What's this? Uh, okay, it, a bell? I'm gonna take the bell. There's a coin as well. Oh, alright. Service with a smile. Let's move on. I. Okay. Oh, alright. Looks like we're, uh, we're heading over there. Who's that? Hang on. Right. What the hell's all this? Okay, a toy train. A I can't drain the water this time. Right. Can we go around? We can go around. So, Phil's already dead at this point, right? But I suppose the Phil here exists as long as the Golden Egg program does. And if it was shut down, Henry would be lost? Damn. I feel like I'm going to get jump scared or ambushed in some way. There's a lot of potential culprits around me. Hey. Oh, sh Whoa! <laughs> right. This is the area that was depicted in the jigsaw, right? This is the area from Find Yourself. Henry crying. Oh boy. So am I just trapped here? 
think I am. Yeah, so this is how the game really ends. With Henry being trapped in the train carriage with nowhere to go and only mannequins to talk to. <laughs> You're mine forever now. <laughs> It keeps on spinning me around. I haven't missed my opportunity to pick up a light source in this game, have I? Well, let's get out of here. What we got? PT, by the looks of it. There's a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. Is it you? <laughs> I've got to ask. Did I close this? I... Okay. The horror begins, it seems. Did anything happen? I Okay, something did then. But, oh! Did I just... Did I just kill him? There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need any leads. Well, if you know there's a missing child in the park nearby, he's not missing. <laughs> Does Henry not have a flashlight? <laughs> right on cue. Who's that guy? He's massive. Or a statue. Probably a statue. Oh, to an outhouse. Ah, oh, a boarded up outhouse. This is a horror game. Oh yeah. <laughs> what big arms you have. I like the way it looks. Yeah, good visuals, good sounds. Silly puzzles. <laughs> okay, I can have a look at this article. Oh shit! Wait, si since when did the door disappear? I'm gonna have to open this again, aren't I? Oh god. Oh man. You decorated in here as well. I can actually see a door. Maybe it's working properly this time. I- oh. Alright. Whoa! 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 Alright. Did I just see something in the fireplace? Is that a disabled radio? Oh, poor thing. There she is. She's standing outside. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so... De oh. Hello. What, I just take a picture in that general area? Trying to- Match the photo. <laughs> okay. No, it's not okay. Whoa! Okay, right. Yes, okay. How am I going to get jump scared this time? Oh! Like that. Am I going to find a boy down here? No, you fucking shh. Don't shh me, stupid fucking mannequin. Oh shit, okay. Yeah. No one's running, it's just a sound effect. I've heard it before in many games. Why is it still riling me up? Bastard. Yep, that's kind of my opinion right now. Poor kid trapped in a cage. At least he's got a cool cowboy hat though. The battery on the video camera is dead. But don't worry, I've got another light source. <laughs> There's always a spare. Sounds like it's gone tumbling down. Oh, Christ, okay. Pick that back up, would you? There are not enough details. Well. Oh, don't put yourself down, this is a pretty detailed game. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that. Is this really what we should be doing? It's not all, you know, you know, walking simulator jump scares like that. Oh god. Whoa! No, 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 shit! Kids love the clowns. Do they? Really? These days I don't think they do. <laughs> uh, thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. Whippy. <laughs> hey. Oh, sh 